It's been a minute, but let's make our way back to Africa. The Swahili coast is here in East Africa, and it's important for a lot of reasons. While Africans had been living on the coast for a long time, Arab explorers eventually started to take advantage of the Indian Ocean trade routes due to its monsoon winds. They eventually made their way down into East Africa, where there was already a thriving Bantu community. And Swahili itself actually is a language that was created so that the native African speakers could speak with the native Arabian speakers. It's also unique in that it was a collection of city-states that actually warred against each other for power rather than being one unified empire. And boy, did they trade. They were importing silk and cotton and spices and pepper all from East Asia, and they were exporting so much gold and ivory and animal furs. Famous explorer Ibn Battuta, who traveled 70,000 miles, said that Kilwa was one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Anyway, raise your hand if you never learned about the Swahili coast when you were in high school.